Hello everybody, we're back in the booth, which means it's time for another dead box. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a closet on Poshmark, along with my wife, Angelique. Um, it's called the Deegans. Um, links for it are below, um, down there, not not in my lap, um, below the video. So, all right, um, this is another dead box video. I thought we'd take a break from our hundred ten item box and uh, do one of these because they're a little bit funner to do, funner, more fun. It's a funner word. I don't know. English can't do it, but I can shoot clothes. Now, um, up first, we'll look at this piece over here. Uh, this is a Lou Lou Lero, which I don't know if this is going to show. It's probably too small. Um, anyway, this is Lou La Lero. Uh, it is a small, and um, I just put it on here. Uh, mostly, I just grabbed a, the first piece out of the box. Um, but with this piece, we wanted to do a reshoot on it because with the mannequin, it just, you can see how it's just formed a little bit better. Um, you can see how it gets, how it's narrower at the bottom. And it has, it's kind of cut to fit a, uh, cut to fit a body um, as opposed to just hang up. So it looks a lot nicer on the mannequin. Um, so that's why we reshot it. You know, a little piece of the box it was in. Okay. And over here to my right, um, or left, my right, your left, we have a skirt. <laughs> um, this skirt is, I believe it's a J. Crew. Oh no, it's an. This is an Ann Taylor Petite, and um, I know I mentioned this a lot in the recent videos, but skirts just look really nice on um, this on these legs. Um, so if it's a if it's a skirt, if it's a small, medium. Um, and I can, I will put it on these legs. And you can see just how it looks a lot nicer on the legs because it kind of, again, it shapes it like it will be worn. Um, when you just hang these up and hang them flat, which I probably should have done behind me up here uh, just to demonstrate, but you just get a, you just get a rectangle. And um, it's kind of hard to sell a rectangle when you're trying to sell a skirt. All right, so. Let's look at the other items that I did reshoots on. Okay, up first we have a pair of a girl, a, what is that? Adriano Goldschmidin? Goldschmidin? Um, anyway, these are a pair of 29 pants. Um, now, they are the legging ankle. Um, super skinny ankle. Um, so being that they're a size 29, they did end up going on the mannequin. They just, you know, pants, pants look so much better on the mannequin. So if I can, um, if they're size 28, 29, 30, maybe 31, depending if I use a little bit of tape, I will put them on the mannequin because they just look so much better on the mannequin. Now this particular pair of pants does have one flaw. It has right there. Um, I don't know if this is going to show up really well. Um, might have to zoom in. But you can see there's just a little bit of ink right there on the pocket. Um, but other than that, um, really nice pair of pants. And I think now that we've reshot them, and I believe my wife will be relisting them soon, I think they'll, I think they'll sell. Um, you know, the stuff that we've been reshooting and relisting has been reselling. So it is, sometimes it is just a matter of getting a good picture. And that's all it takes to sell something that even if you've had no, if you had no interest in it in the past. Okay, up next is a, well, there's no tag. Um, yeah, there's no tag on this one. So that's probably why it was reshot. I believe my wife was able to, <coughs> oh boy, that's not good. 
I believe my wife was able to find the brand on this one. Um, so, but I do not see it. Anyway, it's a uh, it's a dress with um, some birds on branches and uh, flowers and leaves on it, um, and I think. Again, with the dresses, a lot of the dresses just, you know, it's pretty much the whole reason we reach uh, anything was because it just looks so much better on a mannequin versus a uh, versus a hanger. So I'm not. I think that particular piece just never got shot because it didn't, in fact, have a brand on it. So we had to look it up. Eventually, it just ended up in the dead box and then got reshot. Okay, up next we have a pair of Wild Fable 2X. Now, oh boy, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with this video. I think I said that in the last video. Anyway, this is new with a half of a tag. Um, and I think these were bought at Goodwill on Dollar Day. Um, they're new with tags. Um, I believe it's a Target brand. Uh, the Target that's near the Goodwill that we typically go to does unload a lot of stuff at that Goodwill. And so we can pick it up on Dollar Days for a buck and... Then we can sell some move tags items. Make a little bit of money. Alright, up next is this um, another... It's another mystery brand. Actually, it's not a mystery because there is a tag on this one. It's just really faded and hard to read. But I think the... I think the... The material tag did have the name on it here. So, let's just see if I can find it. Uh, oh, it's a... Um, it's a Chico. Uh, this is a small. And this dress um, is a really great example of the reshoots. Now, you'll notice it's just got a neck, no sleeves. Put it on a hanger. This is what you're going to see. Put it on the mannequin. And I probably should have put this one on the mannequin. This would have demonstrated a lot better. But let me see if I can do this real quick. And there we go. Now, um, let me just see if I can adjust my lighting a little bit to make this stand out. There we go. Now, I did shoot this with the uh, black background um, instead of the white, uh, but you can kind of see it there. Look at how much nicer that looks than just holding the piece. Um, so, yeah, that's the perfect example of something that we reshot because we got a mannequin. Um, now, if you are new to reselling um, and you maybe don't, aren't sure about getting a mannequin, they do have um, hangers that have the uh, body, um, just have like a front of a torso on them. Those should also work just nicely. We haven't tried one of those um, because we were able to get our mannequin from a it was a dress barn that was going out of business, um, so they were selling their mannequins. Uh, so we picked up each of these guys for, um, I think they were 20 bucks a piece. Uh, so, and, you know, they've worked out so great for us. I wish we had bought in um, a couple different sizes of legs, though, because um, some, of the, some of the really tiny pants and some of the larger pants um, haven't worked on this mannequin. And if we had, like, two, if we had one smaller and one larger, we could just do all of our pants on mannequins and they would all look really, really nice. Okay, so let's get the lights back up here. Okay, moving right along. Fold that back up. Yeah, I don't need to fold it. Moving right along, we have this Old Navy. Um, this is a pair of felt pants. Now, these are a large, um, they're 10% um, spandex, 9% polyester, and I'm not sure why they ended up in the reshoots. Um, it's possible that the first shot, um, because they're felt, they kind of do tend to uh, collect a lot of little, little, um, little threads. Um, so they might have just not looked nice when I shot them originally. Um, they're large, so they didn't go on the legs. Uh, so it's probably just 
they didn't look good in the original shot, so I just shot them in here. Um, again, this background, a lot less um, little like flaws and little things everywhere, so anything I shoot in here is going to look nicer, even if it's just hanging up. All right, up next we have this um, another tank top, um, and this is a lush and yeah uh again with these with with this tank top um just with the way the way it is in the back um it just didn't hang up really well because it has this button it has this button that kind of connects these these two gray parts um over this orange part but when it was hanging up it just kind of all hung down real droopy like that um, and when it was on the mannequin and it had a little bit more shape, it kind of, it just looked a lot nicer. So, tail as old as time, looks better on the mannequin. All right, up next is this Hot Miami Styles, and this is a bikini top. Um, and, there it hooks. And again, with the with a lot of the brawls that we've done, um, which we haven't done too many, but a lot of the brawls and a lot of the bikini tops we've done, um, there's just no real way to do this and make it look good on a hanger. Uh, you either get it all bunched up together like that, or you have it apart like that. Um, it just really doesn't hold its form without something to kind of hold the chest area wide and keep the still keep the um, straps together. So that's another example of something that you really just can't do with a hanger. Um, all right, moving right along, we have a Kinar. Um, this is a shirt, it's still got a that sticker, sticker on it. Um, yeah, so this is a gray shirt. And again, I'm not really sure why this one ended up in the reshoots. Um, it probably was just a bad picture at first. So, once we reshot it again, um, looks looked a lot better, and it'll probably sell now. You know, I did have a couple of um, I did have a couple of things in this box that ended up having to add more things to this box because I had a couple of things that I was going to reshoot, and right before I reshot them, um, like I was I had it set aside, and they sold. So <laughs> maybe maybe that's the secret. I just need to set stuff aside. Plan to do something with it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this one has come up in our videos before. Uh, this is a halogen, and it is a it's a cami. Um, and again, with the camis, you know, the camis are just another example. Really, anything that has these spaghetti straps, or really tank tops in general, um, just without the without without something filling out the chest, um, they just don't look right. So. This was another great item to reshoot. Um, I think I ended up reshooting most of our camis. Um, all right. Now this is a Gap sweater. And yeah, I don't know why I ended up reshooting it. Uh, this is probably just another example of it was a bad at first, but... Um, the reshoot looked a lot better. Uh, this will probably... I don't know if my wife has... I don't think my wife has relisted this box yet. I don't know if she'll relist the sweaters until it gets a little bit colder out. I mean, this it's like early April when I'm shooting this, so um, a lot of the times stuff that's just listed... I know the Poshmark algorithm somehow lists stuff that's just listed higher. So if you're listing every day, that's how you keep your closet... Um, that's how you keep your closet visible, is to list, just list every day and share all the time. And, alright, um, anyway, moving right along, last item in the box is a Christopher Banks medium. Now, I remember, I know this came up in a haul video we did earlier, and I think, yeah, I think it ended up in the reshoot box because we didn't want to, we didn't want to list it because it had a flaw right here on the um, right here on the sleeve but 
um, because some of the stuff that we reshot actually sold, um, we think that just reshooting, just getting better pictures might get some of this stuff. Even if it's got flaws, it might do better with, um, with that. Hmm. You can barely see that. All right, um, so that's the end of this reshoot box. Um, oh, I guess it is listed. It says right there on the box. All right. If you enjoyed this video, um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, yeah, all that stuff's below. Um, again, not in my lap, but below the video. You know how to use YouTube. I tell you all the time. Until next time, I'm Charles, and I'll see you.